Hello dear friends welcome to my channel best of powerpoint and in this video i'm going to give you a really quick tip to compress your images in powerpoint and reduce the overall file size so guys when we insert thousands of high quality pictures into our presentation the size of the ppt file is definitely going to increase to hundreds of megabytes and sometimes it may even touch gigabytes and this issue has caused storage problems to millions of powerpoint users across the globe but don't worry there is a solution to this problem. PowerPoint 2016 offers a very useful and a great feature to compress the images in the slide and reducing its file size without losing its quality. Let me just practically show this to you. So guys, I have this image of landscape with me and this is an HD image and it was shot on my Canon 700D. Let me just show you the details of this picture. So the size of this image is about 18 megabytes, which is quite high. Uh, let's insert this picture to our PowerPoint slide. Now you will see that with just a click of my mouse, the size of this image will fall drastically. What you have to do is just select this image, go to the format tab and here you can see that there is an option to compress the picture. Click there and a new window appears. The first option says apply only to this picture. So if you keep it checked, the compression process will be applied only to that particular image which you have selected. However, if there are a huge number of images inserted in your slide which you want to compress, just uncheck this option and all the images in your presentation will be compressed. The second option which shows here is delete cropped areas of pictures. Now what does that mean? Suppose I only want to keep this pink house and want to crop the tree and the pole from this picture. So I hit the crop tool and crop the unnecessary parts. In this way, I thought that the size of the picture would also have been reduced. But suddenly, I feel that the tree was actually looking good in this picture and what if I again want to include that in. For this, I will again hit the crop tool and here you can see that by resizing, I can actually include any previously cropped part of the image. Now this means that when we crop any image in PowerPoint, the slide shows only the cropped image but in the background, the PowerPoint software preserves the hidden cropped parts of the image which actually keeps the file size same. It does not reduce the file size. Coming back to the compression options, if I keep this option checked, what will happen is that PowerPoint will permanently delete the cropped areas of the picture and ultimately reducing the file size. The final option is to choose upon the resolution. You can go with any of the desired options available as per your needs but I always select the default resolution and it goes perfect for me. Now click on OK and you will see that the compression has caused hardly any difference to the resolution of the picture. But wait, let me just save this picture by right clicking the mouse button and choose save as picture, uh, selecting the same JPEG format. Now let's open the properties of a newly compressed picture. So guys, as you can see, picture size has been reduced to 400 KBs. Can you believe that? From 18 megabytes to 400 KBs. Amazing. So dear friends, next time when you make a presentation and insert a number of high quality images in it, don't forget to use this amazing feature of PowerPoint. Apart from this, there is another bonus tip for you to reduce the size of pictures in PowerPoint. Always try to insert the image from the PowerPoint itself rather than just using the copy and paste from the internet. This was founded by Mike Taylor where he has explained this in detail. I have given the link for this article in the YouTube show notes below. That's it guys. I hope that you liked this video. Give this video a thumbs up and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.